Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you and this time I'm going to show you how to make the cursor or mouse pointer bigger on Windows 11. This also works almost exactly the same on Windows 10 if you search for the mouse settings in the control panel. So you'll see my mouse cursor is a little bit small on here and depending on the size of your screen if you have more than one monitor it might be very difficult to find. So there's a couple of things that we can do to increase the size and just the overall visibility of it. If we go into the start menu and under settings, under find a setting, we'll just type in mouse and you'll see that a few things come up. One of them is the mouse pointer size. When we go in here you'll see the size right here and mine's set currently at 1 and I can drag this all the way over to the end and you see it gets bigger as I drag it all the way over to number 15. Maybe I want to have it somewhere in the middle. Maybe 5 is good. So we'll also look at there's other things to make it stand out more. So if you've got a dark theme instead of the light theme, you might want to change the cursor to the black style. But also there's one that's inverted because sometimes you've got different colored screens. So if we choose inverted, you might not notice it right away, but as we're passing over the white portion of the screen, you can see that the cursor changes from white to black. So you'll see it'll be black on the white background and white on the black background. And it kind of goes into a bit of a gray and which brings us to this next one here. The little green is a custom one. And if I click in there, it remembers the last color that I chose. But you can go in here and click on any color that you want and make that your new primary color. It's kind of cool, but also may help make the mouse stand out better for you. If we scroll down a little bit more we'll see there's other options here like the touch indicator to help you find out where the mouse is if you're using a touch screen. So you can turn that on and off and it gives you the circle that appears as you hover the mouse or hover your finger where you want the mouse to go. You can also click in here to make the circle darker and larger. Aside from this main screen, we've also got other options in here. So we'll click into this related settings and you'll see here if you're left handed, maybe you want to change this from a left to a right for the primary mouse button because most mice are made for right handed people. And so the primary mouse button is left by default. So if you have a left handed mouse, then you might want to go in here and change the primary mouse button to be right. You also got the mouse pointer speed and you can see right now I can move the mouse fairly quick and it's at 16. If I drag this right down to a 1 and I can really try and move my trackball as fast as I can just I'm going nuts on it and it's barely moving here. So if I bring this back up to speed where I had it you can see it even increased faster because now the mouse can really move around quickly. You've also got, for some mice, you'll have a scroll button. So the in between the left and the right mouse button, you may have a scroll wheel. And you can change this to be moving at how many lines at a time or at a screen at a time that it can jump through. And if you have it at lines, you can say how many lines do you scroll at once. And I hover over mine to see that it's set at three. And you can change this to go up to 100 lines at a time. Or maybe you just want to scroll one or two lines at a time. So it depends on what you want. Another cool feature which is on by default is having the scroll in active windows when hovering over them. So let me show you what this means. Here I can scroll on this window and I can also scroll on this one. If I turn this feature off I can scroll on this one but I'm still when I hover over here instead of it scrolling this one it's scrolling the main one. So if I turn it back on again obviously I can still scroll on this active window. It's, it's active because it's in the front. 
but I can now also scroll on the window that's in the background, which is called inactive. If we go into additional mouse settings, this brings up the old traditional looking window, and it has a lot of options in here that are from what we've already looked at. There are a couple others that you can look at in here as well, including the double click speed. So you've got how fast you have to be between the first and the second click before it would consider it a double click. You've got the pointers and you can even choose schemes from here. It gets into a little bit more advanced options. The pointer options here, one of the best ones that I like here is show the location of the pointer when I press the control key and I've got that turned on. I believe it's off by default, but if I have the mouse here and I hit the control key, you can see that a circle appears and kind of zooms in on the tip of the mouse pointer and I'm each time I press the control key, it does that. So it's very helpful for if you have a very large screen with a small mouse cursor or if you've got multiple monitors and you have no clue which monitor your mouse pointer is on at this time. So now you know not only how to increase the size of the mouse pointer on your windows, but also to make it more visible or just visually appealing. So that's it for this tutorial. And if you did find it helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.